Hi, I'm Diane. Hi, I'm Paul. And we are Car Zombies. Cars, pulleys. Park pulleys. What's that all about? Car zombies want that. All right, not here. all. Not zombies. She's talking about. She got pulleys on the brain because we're going to be changing your serpentine belt. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to change a couple of pulleys today. Yes. <laughs> You're such a kid. Okay. So. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change your serpentine belt, change a couple of pulleys that are minor, and if we're uh, ambitious enough, we're gonna tackle the harmonic balancer as well. Okay. And that's the thing that keeps it from vibrating your car. So why are we doing all this? The thing about the serpentine belt is you're supposed to change it about every 80,000 miles. You got about 200,000 miles. We don't think we ever changed it. That's scary. It does have a little bit of micro cracks on the serpentine belt. That also tells us we probably ought to change it. So we're gonna change that. So you got your engine, which basically you think, oh, that powers the rear wheels. But it also powers through a serpentine belt, it spins other things. And if it breaks, you lose air conditioning, power steering, you lose everything, water pump. Um, I heard you're gonna change, or I'm gonna change the harmonic balancer too. Right, we are definitely gonna change a couple of pulleys, but okay. there's a big, huge flywheel kind of thing that hooks right onto the crankshaft. The crankshaft is the main spinner uh, shaft that comes from the engine and yours was recalled. We don't know if that was ever changed. So we're gonna take a look at it, see if it has a recalled number, see if it needs to be changed or see what our time is like if we're really ambitious because I already bought one and we may change it anyways because we do have a little bit of vibration in the car and I'd like to get it changed. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's gonna do all the work like yes. usual because she wants to. Yes. I will help wherever she needs to, which may happen on the harmonic balancer. It's got some real challenging parts to it. It also includes the front seal, which prevents oil from leaking out of the front of the engine. So we're gonna to try to change that as well. Pretty oh. ambitious, ambitious today. Yeah, this will be fun. All right, we wanna talk about parts? Let's talk about parts. Okay, for this project, we got a new serpentine belt, a couple of pulleys, and a new harmonic balancer. Let me go get those so we can show everybody. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, here he comes. Okay, now parts. these are just the parts for changing the serpentine belt. Whenever we change your serpentine belt, we're gonna mm -hmm. always change the belt the idler pulley, and this is the um, belt That's tensioner. tensioner. <laughs> yeah, you know that, all right. all right. So the belt, I think this came in a kit, Continental belt, these aren't Mercedes parts. Now we would only buy general Mercedes parts if we can, and I don't know if we can on these, but I bet we could. The idler pulley just helps get the belt from hitting other things when they design the engine, so it kind of pulls it away, and it just spins, doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, just runs the belt. This is your belt tensioner. Here, you can open it. Oh, where's the bow? <laughs> yeah, didn't give a bow one. <laughs> All right, so that's oh, the belt tensioner. This is kind of heavy. I was kind of curious about that. Yeah, see now this little pole here? This yeah. kind of holds it. You pull that pole and the whole thing will tension way over and put pressure on the belt. Don't pull it now. But we're going to pull it after we put it in. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. This is everything we need. I thought there was a This is what you would do if you're just changing your serpentine belt. Okay. So that's the starting point. So. Sometimes you also change your water pump when you change your serpentine belt. What we're gonna start doing on your car is changing a water pump every other time. So every like 160,000 miles. Yes. So that's a ways a bit out. But we're not gonna try to tackle the water pump today because we're gonna try to tackle the harmonic balancer instead. Okay. We might come back and do the water pump sometime soon. Let's talk about tools. Did okay. you buy any? I did have to buy some special tools for this project. All right, Ready? Let's, let's find out. <laughs> Gee, I see. I hear him say, "Darn, <laughs> more tools." Darn. Okay. <laughs> what? I hear you goofing off over here. Okay. Uh, the fish's fan tool. Uh, all right. So you need these two wrenches. One to hold it's the fan. It's not the vicious. Other one. It's viscous. It's a vicious fan. <laughs> I bet it will be. <laughs> Viscous? <laughs> Viscous. Did we say we're amateurs? <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I read it as vicious. <laughs> I bet it's gonna be vicious. <laughs> Bad fan. Bad fan. <laughs> okay, you use this to hold the mean little devil and this to turn its its uh, bolt. All okay. Right? And then you need a screwdriver. We're gonna do the idle pulley. You mm -hmm. pop off the cap with the screwdriver and you use either the M7 I don't have an M7 in here, or let's hope the or works, a T50 um, torque bit to mm -hmm. tw twist out that torque, that's the bit or the bolt that's holding the idle pulley on. All right. And we change that out. Then we go to work on your belt tensioner. 
And okay. the first thing is you need a, you're gonna use this and a, a breaker bar and a 17 millimeter to kind of take the tension off of it. Yes. And then we're gonna put this nail into where it was. This nail is like that little peg thing that came with the new one. Oh yeah. But we gotta put one in the old one so that we could take the bolts off and take it off and then we'll put the new one on and then we'll take the new ones off afterwards. Okay. Right? So you need one we'll of these. I'll show you stuff. that. Yeah. And then when you're taking those actual bolts off, you're gonna need a E12, I believe it is. Uh, female Torx talk it, so I bought a new one to set of these. We'll see if that works out. And when we're putting it all back together, we're gonna need a, a 20 and a 25 newton meter torque wrench. And so we can do both of those with that. Okay. And I'll put all links to everything on uh, below the video so people can see what those are and use them, all right? Okay. Uh, and then also this little guy, if we decide to clean the fan, that mean little fan, if he's mean, <laughs> I don't see why we should clean him. But 10, the vicious fan. Maybe it won't be so vicious if you clean them. <laughs> 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. And this is, so that's all this is. And uh, hopefully that'll be everything we need. That's for doing a serpentine belt replacement. Okay. And the two idle pulley and the tensioner pulley. All right? All right, cool. let's get go. There we go. You get it? Yep, got it. Hang on before you start putting those Does in. this go in a certain way? Yeah, you're, you're getting excited, aren't you? Hang yeah. on, I'll read. I'll read. Let's Let see, me go. Let's see if we can, can we just pop these out too? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh, why is it you always get it off? I got a grip, see? Oh, okay. I pressed in, press it in to get these eggs off. Here's your tools. Let me All read right. it to you. All right. Make sure the bent part offsets the handle towards the engine. So you see how it's bent here? Yeah. So you do it, yeah, like that. So it's more towards the engine. If you did it like this, it would be more away from the engine. So it looks like you're eating a fork. Yeah. Using like, a fork. Eat. That's how you're doing it. All right. And you see those little screws on the fan down yeah. there? See if you can't. Let's get that on there. Now that holds it. The other tool you put on and you start untwisting the knob, the bolt. I See, the problem is it may go the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can get the other direction. Okay, now look at a couple of things about these wrenches. See how it's offset like this? Yeah. It's not just straight. That's so that sometimes when you go like that, you catch this, see how that's oh, right there? Yeah. Now it's right here on this side versus that side. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. So if if you can't quite get it like that, try turning it like that and then you might get it. Oh, okay. Look, the whole thing does move over. There you go. How about like that instead? Try it again. Oh, see yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so you can, you can twist this one and it turns the whole fan. Okay. Okay. Now you use this one to get on that inside nut. So yeah, this, now you want this to go this way and then apart. So you're together until it passes this. Right. That's what I thought. Yeah. You're going the right way. I think you need oh, to break oh. it. It wasn't me, was it? <laughs> uh, this is really on tight. The nut parts like a regular nut. The part that's holding it, it you don't think about it, but you think about this. It's got to go this way. Mm -hmm. right, so we got to get these two to come together. Mm -hmm. It's the breaking part that's hard. Now this tells me that if, if someone your size really wanted to do something like this. Mm -hmm. Whoa, did you get it? I don't know. Or it slipped to one of the two. Something happened. Let me see. Yeah, I did get it. Yay! I think, why don't you look and see what you think. Can you tell yeah. if it's turning? It's turning, but I have to. Pin. You have to keep. You may not need the other tool after it starts turning. Yeah. Yeah. I see, you're, you're able to turn it. Yeah, I can turn it. That's nice. So you only need that for when you're breaking it and when you're tightening it in the end. So how far do I loosen it? All the way till it comes off. The fan should come off. So make sure you hang onto the one of the blades that near the end. So it doesn't. Will just... any of the nuts fall off? No. Well, I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Well, you don't want it to fall inside of it, do you? It'll just fall under the car. There's oh, really not much there. I don't think there's much underneath there. Yeah, as you work, also be careful. You don't want the fan to fall into the radiator. The radiator fins are easy to bend, remember? So this is the fan part. Yeah. What about, what is this? That's uh, that's going to stay. Okay. So when you get the nut off, you, the whole fan will come straight up. I see. It looks like it should come off. 
Oh, I see the ground. Is that what? I'm trying to see if I can see. I can see the ground underneath the floor, the garage floor. Mm. If you were Elizabeth, you could see your toes. <laughs> Poor Elizabeth. <laughs> Was that bad? <laughs> yes. It looks like it's coming off. Oh yeah, you're probably. I want to just... be careful of the radiator. Yep. You want to just kind of. Whoop. There you go. Can you hang on to this key? I can. Thanks. Does it lift up? Yeah, I believe so. It's kind of stuck in here. It's stuck on some of, caught on some of the stuff. There we go. This dipstick keeps getting in the way. I know. There we go. Look at how oh. dirty that thing is. <laughs> Holy cow. Is that cow. how you look at everything? How are you going to clean it? Was, do you remember how to yes. clean it? Yes. Just soap and water? Or? No, you can't use soap and water on this at all. No water on this. This tub. Maybe you just end up you wiping just, it down? You, you just clean. You can use water and soap, on the, I guess, on the fins, but not on the assembly. You have to use like a dry toothbrush. Aren't you my cleanup crew? No. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going to happen. <laughs> Wow, that's dirty. Is it because it gets all the stuff through the front grill? Yeah, I would imagine. It's never been cleaned probably since you bought your car. Yeah, you could probably use that paper towel on the blades if you want. Yeah. You know, that's the thing about nice about doing your own car is you can proactively fix things. Here, set and remove mode to take off those four little bolts underneath. Do you need to Oh, your hair is so pretty today. Oh, thank you. Did you do something with it? Yeah. Oh, let's take that bottom pan off then. All right. Mm-hmm. I'll get the far ones, and then you do the close ones, all right? Okay, sounds like a plan. Thanks for doing the back ones. Long arms, and I'm reached out all the way. Your dad said I had monkey arms. He did? But, yeah. But um, he says, pretty soon your knuckles are dragging on the ground. Oh my gosh, my dad's so <laughs> nice, isn't he? <laughs> he said my that, dad said that to Yeah, you. a long time ago. Doesn't sound I, like I, my dad. I was probably my dad's like, much nicer than I that. thought I was 20 years old, but he's funny. <laughs> and uh, and why did he say that to you? Do you remember? I don't know. We were at the golf course. He you just, were at the golf course? Yeah, he just said, your arm. Oh, you, maybe because your really legs are to, short. Yeah. That could be. Oh, I kind of vaguely remember. I think I went and played with you a little bit about it too for a while. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Did you get it? Awesome. All right, my turn. You do the two in the front. All right. Thank you for doing the backs. There we go. That's what I thought. I said I like this one. It sounds like I'm, oh, well, I'm tightening. What do we do next, boss? Let's remove this shroud, okay? This thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you see this right here? Try pulling that straight up. This thing? Yeah, it's a little clip. Let me see how it works. It's got grooves in it. Does it pull straight up? Do you want to use it like a, try to wedge a screwdriver at the top and oh, pop it up? I got it. Something like this? Maybe you can go like, Oh, okay. <laughs> see, it's just a like a paper clip. Yeah, In fact, it, it won't break anything. I'm not the best with the camera, but how come you're so much better with tools than I am? Uh, some of it's strength too. Want me to grab it and pull it up? Oh, you got it. Got it. Good. That's always neat. Yeah, the hose is kind of clipped in. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Now, oh, something fell. Looks like a piece fell. What is this? Is it a clip? It's a clip to something. Uh, I'm wondering if it broke. It looked like it's broken. See? Yeah, it does. Oh, it is broken. So you need a new fan shroud to have that. So someone reclipped it, even though it wasn't actually being used, or it got broke some other way. Yeah, it's definitely broken. Can you pull it out? Oh. I don't know. I don't know how it works. So you got to be kind of carefully look at where it catches and see if there's something else in there holding it because there was no data on how to take out the fan shroud because once i get this side i can pull it away from that hose yeah 
maybe get the other side. So maybe I have to go up and then out. Yeah, look, up and then out, I can go out quite a bit. This is mostly being constrained by this hose. Yeah, that's what it's I was like saying. It's like two little tabs. There's just a little hole. Yeah. And the tabs go in it. Oh, so oh I, I see it. it. So I pulled it out. Now I pulled it out on this side, up and out, right? Uh-huh. So now the only thing that's blocking it is the stuff that it's hitting on the way out, which... I had that problem with everything else. I see there's something down here. Got it. Here. Mostly got it. So I kind of... Wow. <gasps> Where is that? It sounded like it was over here. It's yeah. caught right here. It's this plastic. It was hooked to the hose, right? Yeah. That was it. That was all it was. So these two tabs went into two holes at the bottom. Uh -huh. They clipped to the hose here, and we put two tabs here. This tab broke off. This one is the one we used. All right? I think it was already broken off. I think it was already broken off. I'm trying too. to look at all the parts over here. Yeah. What do you right. think? This is the belt tensioner, isn't it? This one right here? Yeah. You're absolutely okay. right. What are what are the different parts? Do you know? Yes, this is the uh, generator. This is the water pump, uh -huh, which that's keeps the thought. water flow and everything. Uh -huh. uh, which is actually radiator fluid, not water. This oh, is really? the idle pulley. Okay. That's the tensioner you saw. Uh -huh. Down below it and to the right, I believe, is your power steering, and above that is your air conditioning. Oh, okay. And then in the the big wheel right here is our harmonic balance. Wow, that one looks major. Ooh, new tool. <laughs> yep, this is the one I had. I mean, gosh, we bought so many of these products and you need like all of them. Okay, I think Buy I said the right tools. E10 is, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where's my E10? It's on the top. Do you see it? It, went, it, it just got, stuck? It just got stuck. That's oh, the that's one you want. funny. See if that fits on it. Yeah, that works. So that's a 3 8 inch breaker bar. Here you go. So we're taking off the tensioner? We're just going to untension it. So we're going to let you try that first just to get a feel for okay. it. While you do that, let me read the instructions again. Go counterclockwise and the belt should come loose. It'll be pretty okay. obvious too. All right. Now reach in. Get it on there. Yep. Yeah, I'll go counterclockwise. Uh -huh. Does the belt feel like it's getting looser? Yeah, definitely. All right. Once it's loose, take it off like the idle pulley. Take it off like the idle pulley? Yeah, just pull it towards you. Pull the belt towards you until it's off. Yeah. Now let the tension go back into it. So you don't need the tension once you get it off one of the pulleys. Okay. Okay. Well it keeps going. That's okay. It's going up higher than it did before? Yeah. Oh, that's because there's no belt to tight to, for it to tension. How do I get it off? All right, leave it on. Maybe we'll put the belt back on. Don't get any fingers stuck just in case it comes off. Ready? Right, yeah. Okay, now Mercedes tensioner is like metal. And it is. That one looks plastic. It is plastic. Makes you wonder, huh? Uh huh. I wish I didn't buy the kit now. Plastic. I can't believe it. We could we could get the new part. Good idea. Right, we'll get a genuine Mercedes tensioner if we can. Okay. <laughs> we're back from lunch. All right. You didn't know we went to lunch, maybe, but we went to lunch. And what yeah. we were upset about before lunch is that when we started looking at this tensioner pulley, we noticed it was all metal. Hold this, please. Sure. And this new one that we got with the kit had a plastic top. Now we don't trust anything from the kit. <laughs> yeah, no. I wouldn't put a plastic piece in your car when we had a metal piece. This is part of the whole thing about car zombies. We want to use genuine parts and get the quality we want. Mm -hmm. Now, we just went to Mercedes and we couldn't find the tensioner pulley, unfortunately. So we use the one we got because it's good. We'll change it next time. Yes. But we got idler pulley. We got a serpentine belt that were Mercedes genuine. And it was really reasonably priced. I mean, it was like, why did I ever buy the kit in the first place? Yeah. And we're gonna buy a Mercedes tensioner pulley online, and I'm gonna throw away this other stuff. We're not even gonna mess with it. I like that. Okay. Oh, oh this is her oh. new serpentine belt. Yes. How do you like the packaging? So professional. <laughs> but it's genuine Mercedes, and it even says Mercedes on it, so. Yep. And <laughs> also, 
we bought the idle of pulley. So we got the Mercedes idle of pulley, Mercedes belt, we're about to put them on. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we take off the belt and we don't worry about the tensioner. Now remember how you brought it up and it wanted to go even further yes. afterwards? Um, so what do I do? Maybe start with it further down. So oh. unhook it and hook it up so it's further down. That's a good idea. And be careful with the radiator. So I have to go up this way? No, you have to push it down even further. Oh. So it's loose in the tension. Oh. Is that loose enough to take it off? Yeah. All right, once you get it off that pulley, let it go back up. Let all the tension out of it. All right. Now take it off the bolt because you don't need the tensioner anymore and that your tool is in the way. Yeah. Okay, now you pull the belt all the way off. All right. How's that working out? It's fine. I hope you have a diagram on how to put it back on, right? The you're new supposed one? to memorize what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of note nice taker would pie. I be if I didn't have a diagram? Wow. Where does this one go? It goes all the way around and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Wow. Up and around. All right, it's off. Let's okay. look at this old one. All right, you yeah. see those niches and stuff? Yep. That's not good. It's not the end of the world, but it's ready to go. Okay. That's what a hundred and whatever many miles on that thing is. Okay. What's next? Check that all the pulleys are sturdy. So just kind of jiggle every pulley. See if it feels like it's sturdy. If it's wobbly. This one's a little wobbly. Which one? This one. We're going to change that one. So that's okay. That's the idle pulley. Everything else seems pretty good. Okay. Yep. Yeah, everything else seems fine. It's just awesome. that one that we are going to change. Okay. And w all right, so what you're going to do, Di, is snap off the face plate of that idler pulley. This thing? Yeah. In there. Good job. It's off. <laughs> All right. It went flying. P fifty and hope that it works. Go for it. I think it's in there. Do you need a breaker bar? No. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, you broke it. Nice job. Wow. It goes forever. Holy cow. That thing's long. How do you get it out from there? <laughs> All right. I don't know how to take it off. Pull out that bolt. bolt I, comes I can't because it hits the radiator. Are you serious? Yeah. Can you turn it as you go? No. Down or up or it anything? It doesn't go anywhere. No angle will let it come out without touching the radiator? Yeah. All right. It looks like it's at the very end. Can I try? Yeah. How are you supposed to, I don't get this. But you know what? If we change the water pump, which is that, mm -hmm. we would end up having to pull off the idler pulley with the water pump and then change it. But mm -hmm. nobody did it that way. Why would it need such a long bolt? You can't wiggle, wiggle it as high as you can, low as you can, right and left. And on the far as you can, you know, wiggle it back and forth. See, it just, it looks like it's still in about an inch. Yeah, there's no way I can get that yeah. out. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're back. We had to take a break. <laughs> so we took a break. Here's what happened. The idler pulley won't come out without going through the radiator. Right. Not a single video we watched did that. Yeah. This is very common for us. Whatever we start to tackle, uh -huh. it's not like it is on the internet. Yes. So a little bit of logic has to come to play as well. We got two options here. One or three options. One, we don't change the pulley, but you thought it was a little shaky. It, it probably was. is. They say they wear out faster than any of the other pulleys. Makes sense. So it does need to be replaced. The second option, yes. remove the radiator. Ooh, that looks like a big project. Yeah. Plus you gotta drain the radiator and everything else. Mm -hmm. and the third option is to replace the water pump. Now that's an interesting one. I've replaced the water pump on my car two or three times. I don't think you've ever replaced it. No. My notes say every second time you replace the serpentine belt, you're supposed to replace the water pump. Oh, really? So let's just do the water pump. And I already bought one, so we have one. But yes. 
but do I want to do it now, right this minute? And I say mm -hmm. no. I think what we ought to do is we ought to replace the water pump after we do the harmonic balancer because that's okay. what we already set up. We got notes and everything else. Yes. And then I'll do some notes. We'll do a new video. We'll change the water pump and change the pulley with the water pump. Okay. And for today, we'll change just the harmonic balancer, the serpentine belt, so we'll re-screw back in the pulley. Mm -hmm. But then we know that that pulley needs to be replaced, and we'll do that with the water pump in another video in the future, okay? Okay. When you put the idler pulley back in, it says 20 newton meters. Look at you. That's it, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, put the cap back on. It's not so loose. Oh, not really? Like Maybe that time. was the problem. Snap the ca dust cap back on. Because all these neat things he has to get. He's the most popular guy in the neighborhood. This is another reason why he's so popular. He has the heater that he uses in the winter when he's doing is work. Is that why I'm popular? <laughs> well, I have a heater? you have tools too that make you so popular. Every neighbor goes, Paul, do you have such and such? Of course I do. <laughs>